so I hope that was good uh, anyway so in this uh, video we are going to use the VB2005 language to program uh, an application a cancel application that will let us generate MD5 hashes and after that I will show you how the uh, Joomla framework how they store the passwords using MD5 uh, hashed values and salt. Let's begin. I don't have uh, the Visual Studio installed, but uh, I have uh, the framework and uh, uh, there is a compiler, a VB and a C Sharp compiler, free compiler with the framework. So let's use just that. Microsoft.net, Microsoft.net in framework. And here you see that I have these frameworks. Okay, I am going to use version 2 because I will work with uh, VB2005. Okay, and here what I will do is use just notepad to create um, MD5 dot VB5, so generate MD5 hashes. Okay, yes, I want to create the file. Okay, so let's begin by importing some name spaces. So the first one is system. I'll just copy this because I will reuse it. So the first uh, import is IO in text. And uh, finally, security dot crypto gra crypto gra Okay, so I have my imports. Now let's just create a module. Let's just call it module one. It doesn't matter the name. And module then a sub main function and sub. Okay. Now I will uh, declare variables I will be using. So din plain text as string in dim plain bytes as byte dim mm, I will need uh, a hash engine so the, the hashing engine uh, engine as md5 uh, crypto service provider okay then other variables hash bytes as a byte and finally the hash text so the hash itself as just Okay, so I have my variables. Now what I will do is uh, wrap the code I will uh, be writing in a uh, try catch wrapper so to deal with the uh, exceptions. Okay, so and I will just if uh, an exception uh, occur I will just exit the sub. Not that. Okay, so here I will write uh, the code to generate the hash. So plain bytes first equals uh, first I will encode so encoding that uh, to uh, UTF-8 because I am going to use uh, Unicode uh, characters. So get bytes of plain text okay but we didn't get the plain text so we will go into do that here so console that right just a comment to the user please enter a string to hash <laughs> and console that we're going to read 
the line so we are going to get what the user type so we are going to get what the user types in the cancel in the variable plain text okay so now I have uh, converted the bytes I will use my engine uh, first I will instantiate a new md5 engine ok I have that I will use it now to bytes equal so I will use my hash engine to compute the hash compute hash, hash of plane bytes ok I have my uh, the hash bytes now I need to convert that to text so hash text equals I will use a function uh, bit convert converter dot to string to string and I have hash bytes ok but I will get this with uh, uh, hyphens uh, two characters then uh, every two characters separated with hyphens so I need to take care of that so replace and I want to replace in this string I will get the hash converted to string I will replace the hyphen the hyphens with nothing basically ok so there we go we have our the hash now let's just cancel right and show that to the user and the that's x5 hash is and we give him the hash which is hash text okay let's save this and i think that's it so let's now we use the VB compiler to compile and see so there we go it has worked now md5 and there we go please enter a string to hash let's say say um, assert okay so we get our md5 hash okay so now let's uh, switch to uh, uh, Joomla database and show you how they store the uh, passwords using the md5 hashes mm -hmm. so there we go just let me copy this and open another instance of uh, notepad okay so there is the uh, password hash but basically this is the salt and this is the md5 of the password and the uh, salt together okay to verify this my password here in this uh, instance is just hacking so basically they take the salt and so i copy this and basically when i in day five uh, hash this i will get this this value here let's verify so here i will launch my gmd5 program and give it this value and here we get md5 hash let's verify it here so there we go that worked so this is just a, a tip for you to know thank you